you know. But but, you but you're, 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 li- you're, li- you're live on the air now. You're live on the air now. That's okay. And That's then, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. We'll call her, hold up on me. Hold up on me. This is Dimax. Dimax. Okay. My name is Joe, okay? Hey, Joe. Okay. Okay. Uh, call her. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, you have you have a young lady here, Dimax. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just talking to New York City. Okay. okay go ahead. I, go ahead. I, don't, I don't know Dimax. Okay. You're talking to New York City. I wish I was at the barbershop today while the, the conversation was taking place. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the things that men used to do, the way men carry themselves way back when, that's the way women are carrying themselves nowadays. What, 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 men, what, okay. what men used to do? The men used to be the, the, the one in the street, women in the street nowadays. Okay? Back in the days, men were being referred to as dogs, right? Mm-hmm. Now, women took over the title. Not only dogs, but cats. Okay? I don't know what's with the moral. I'm going to give you a prime example. Uh, I, asked, I I called a friend of mine the other day. Mm-hmm. She told me she was getting married. So she got married. So she said to me, you know, we can't do the things that we used to do. I said, okay, cool. I respect that. So after her uh, honeymoon, she said, is, uh, are we still open to do the things that we used to do? I said, but you're confusing me. <laughs> okay? Mm-hmm. You're confusing me. You just got, you just got back to me, honey, and here you are. You're asking me to do the things that we used to do. But is she happily married? Uh, is that a question? I, I mean, I mean th- th- that was, that was... She just got back from my honeymoon. Uh-huh. She just got back from my honeymoon. Mm-hmm. So, t- so okay. t- things change. But do you, you want to? Do you want to participate? Do you want to participate? I want to participate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I have no problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. I, I wish the women would take on the title. Uh, you know, if they're going to take over the title as the D O G, they let us know. Mm-hmm. But that's you can't play both roles. That's kind of deep, man. You, you know? have to you have to stay in your lane. You know. But if you want the title of the DOG, we'll give it to you. But let me, let me, no problem with that. So let me ask you a question, Nicole. Uh, um, you know what? I'm trying to break it down. You're trying to say like a woman cannot do what a man do and still be a lady. That's what you're saying? You lose your eyes. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find out. What is, it, what is a lady? What's, what's the definition of a lady now? <laughs> but, you, but you were talking about back in the days, how things were back yeah. in the days. Right. Uh, I, I, maybe Di, Max, Di Max could, uh, you are know. You, are you mad that women are now doing what you do and do it better? Holy macaroni. You know, <laughs> you know, you are so right. You are so right. Better. <laughs> better. <laughs> Am I mad? No, I'm not mad. I, I benefit from that. <laughs> well, uh, Miss Diamond. Diamond, 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 Dimax, 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 yeah, Diamond, Dimax, whatever you want to, whatever your name is. I, I, I said a question. I benefit from, from that Dimax. Okay, so since you benefit, I mean, what's the 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 problem with calling them dogs or whatever? Like I didn't men, call them dogs. Dog. I said they walk. But women, we're not really dogs. You know, we cougars today. Oh, it's an animal. I understand. So the cat wasn't good enough. So you decide you want to take over and be a, a, a more flirtatious, flirtatious animal? Absolutely. You know, Very we, we, good. We can, we, can be stalkers. we can be stalkers and we can pray you now. Before, you used to only pray on us. Call us. That Max. That Max. Yes. You must have not heard what I said. Before. I, I said I benefit from that. I benefit from that. Mm-hmm. So why are you complaining? That. That's my point. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating a fact. But but let, let me ask you. I'm trying to ask both of you. What, what's wrong with our society today? I mean, you, you, you know, I mean, once upon a time, you got a happily married couple. You know, it's supposed to stay right there. But even even when it was happily married, he was cheating, or she was cheating. Somebody is always cheating. So should it be open? Should it be like, you know, I have other people and, you know, so do you. And we good. I have a question for you. What is it? If that is the case, why get married? That's the good question. You know, according to the Bible and what people 
say, you know, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. But you have some people who have open marriages, and they say it works better for them because nobody's cheating. So I don't know. It depends on your mentality. Because that's the thing that's Oh, gosh. Right. Every, everybody together. I mean, is it going to be a threesome? Is it just going to be separate right. couples? Or you know, it's a whole right. lot of issues to think about. Y'all, 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 y'all getting kind of deep here. What about marriage? Right. Right. Wait, what about, right. what about a couple that's happily married? But what about the people? So the, who, wait, who this what this what's going on? More than one woman? Huh? What about the people who marry more than one woman? Now they have uh-huh. a whole family. That's a whole different topic, Connie. Well, let's do that here. I mean, it's kind of getting heated. Can a can a couple that's happily married? You know, still fool around, play the game, all kind of stuff. I mean, I mean, wait, 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 wait. That must, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy you stepped in here because this stuff is getting kind of heated. Now you're talking about all the threesome, all that kind of stuff. We're talking about happily married couple here. You th- you're trying to tell me that's what's going on right now in this world? Are, are they really happily married? I mean, you know, that, that's what but I'm saying. If they're happily married, if they're happily married, I mean, you say it. See, you you saying it with a question. Mm. If they happily married. So what is happily married? It's happily married. I can have whoever I want. You can. She can. Oh gosh. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So happily married doesn't mean married both y'all. That's it. It's like happily married mean. A lot of times it does. Additives. Yes. <sighs> anyway, call. It. Thank you. Thank you for calling. You can always call back. Okay. We gonna go to another caller. Hello, good night. You're live on here. Hi. How you doing? I'm okay. Oh, you're live on here. This is ER Radio with Rose Avril. You know, this is Joey Barber in forever. How you doing? Okay, thank you. Good night. Uh-huh. Um, I want to know the question again from what I heard on the radio station. Um, the question is, if you're happily married, um, is it condoned that two couples cheat? Is that the... No, it, no. some people have said they, 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 they could never... If that's if if you got happily married couple, they technically they, they 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 can never cheat on each other, but some people are saying it's the norm or you, you know what I mean I'm 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 confused myself because that's what I'm trying to find out from the listening audience and people around me. Well, today's society I feel has put uh, marriage on a different level. Um, it's not the values in what it's supposed to be. So there's no way you are happily Ooh. couple and you're supposed to be allowing cheating, first and foremost. You're supposed to be as one and serve as one. You're never supposed to even put that in the equation that you're going to cheat. But society as a whole has devalued marriage, period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They can't even be in monogamous relationships. You know, now I don't condone anyone that if your game is, okay, I am a person that I'm not ready to take that step to be in a monogamous relationship, then you got to be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. First of all, you got to love yourself. And once you love yourself, then you could be as one with someone else. What? Until you, what? You said what? Yeah. The thing is this, you have to know who you are and what you're ready for in this life. And life is short. So if you want a loving relationship and you take that step and say that you want to be married, then you're going to be willing to go according to the Bible and you're going to be, then you become as one and you're happily married. But, so this should never be a question of you saying, oh, could there be cheating? Well, let me say, but the, the Bible is like old news, you know, what, 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 what I'm hearing is today's society. That's what but I'm getting. Today's society is, is just done. It is no values. There's no integrity. It's no. It's no rules. It's like okay, we got an open relationship. That's not marriage. Oh. What about how first many of people? All, first of all, you don't need to be married if you're going to take two couples and you want to say I'm going to cheat and it's okay. I don't want to hear that. Then you're not ready for marriage. Period. What about all the married couples who somebody's cheating on somebody. Well, <laughs> it, it, so what we got to do is this. We got to say, are we talking about what is the topic? Is it? I'm married and I'm happily married and I'm believing in the same sanctity of marriage or am I just a clown and we just getting together and we talking about finances because we want to buy a house and we want to have a car and put our names with our money, our um, salaries together. But so then you, what are you getting married for? But look at the reality of life that we're looking at today on every single level. You got politicians, you got everybody, I don't care who, that they sacrificing everything for the sake of that next, you know what. <clears throat> so what is that really saying? I mean, he wants to be with her. She wants to be with him. But something is driving them 
to do what they do? Is it the right, devil? Because, you know, in everything in this life, how I feel personally, I can't speak for everyone else. Everyone thinks that once you get married that are, um, it's, it's supposed to just, oh, we're supposed to have those butterflies in our stomach. We're supposed to you gotta work for everything that you do in this life. Okay, mm -hmm. and that includes your children. That includes your husband. That can, includes everything. You can't just sit there, get married, and you got the butterflies. And oh, we had the wedding. It's beautiful. We got the house. We got the car. We got this. No, you have to keep working at it. Anything got, that's worth got, having, you have to work at it. That he wants somebody else. So if we go, well, you know married, what? If it was the reality in my marriage that he wants somebody else, bah. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, so that's a personal choice. I mean, some people are saying, let's do it openly. We can be married, and I can just know that you're not cheating on me. I know what you're doing, because I'm doing the same thing. Mm -mm. But that's, that's it. Is that wrong? Not a marriage. Well, you're that's confusing me now. Listen, listen. listen. What, what if I'm trying to get married? Y'all are scaring me in there. Look, look, look. That's not a marriage. Marriage is not and that's called an open book. Marriage is not something that you're going to say, oh, we're going to go off and we're going to have this open relationship. Then you don't need to get married, period. But now, from, what, from, what Demis, from what Demis was saying earlier, um, sometimes you'll have that additive to the happily married. You know, I mean, that is confusing. Saying, if you're happily married, that's not a question for you to be saying, oh, I'm going to cheat or you're going to cheat and then we're going to do this openly. That's not a marriage. <laughs> okay. It's you. Uh, okay, okay, go on. Uh, listen, we, want, we, we thank you for your call. I'm going to join our conversation. And can a, a, a happily uh, married couple still go? They have any face over them? I'm confused. Yeah, okay, the question is, can a couple actually be happily married and still fool around? Hello, good night. You're live on here. Hello, good Hello. night. Good night. Um, I was listening to your conversation about marriage uh -huh. and two people and I have the open relationship and things. Uh -huh. um, I agree with the last caller, but at the same time, I can also um, say that at these times, marriage is more like a business transaction than anything. Uh -huh. The reason why I say this is that, you know, when you with somebody um, and you care for them, for the man, the love, they care or whatever, and they have children or whatever, normally, you know, if he something happens to him, he has somebody. Mm. But at the same time, you know, a man's going to be a man. You just said man, you know, but we understand that women is doing the same thing too. Yeah. No, women are doing the same thing, but at the end of the day, men are men, women are women. Mm -hmm. When men, when women do something and they go out into the street and do whatever, that's because they may not have a male figure, or they probably had was with somebody that treated them bad. Is more of a no, but they, they, the couple is happily married. That's what we're saying. The couple is happily married. The couple is happily married. Yeah. Well, with the couple, well, with the couple is happily married. You don't know what makes them happy in their relationship. <laughs> maybe they want. Maybe they like the open relationship. Or maybe, uh, I'm, or maybe, I'm, or maybe they're happy with each other. You don't know that. I'm trying to understand it because I'm old school. You know what I mean? Well, well, that's that's a blessing. A lot of people aren't anymore. Mm. Back in the beginning, you know, the man was the provider, the woman was the nurturer. Now it's like nobody needs to be together. Everybody work. Everybody work. Every, everybody work. Everybody got their money. Everybody got their money. Everybody got their car keys. Everybody got so, everything. Okay, so nobody talk to nobody. Nobody wants to talk to nobody. So can we go back to basic? Women stay in the house? Men mm -hmm. go out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, thank you for your call. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Right. <laughs> Hello, good night. You're live on here. Hello. Hello? Yeah, Joe. Yes, sir. Um, based on the, not that caller who you just, um, who was just on, um, the one who called before, I think she was taking um, the topic a little bit too personal. She got to understand that everybody got their rights and people got their rights to um to do what they want to do. But if you everybody is different. If you're gonna be in a relationship and you're happy, it could be that um the people be open minded based on how much partners in which you want to have. It could be um one one party, one um one member of the um the um either the husband or the wife mm -hmm. could either had could either have one have a higher sex drive than the next one. So you think the woman, if, if the guy got a higher sex drive than the, the female, she's going to be happy regardless. Let's work for she to do. At least he happy and she happy. So 
Based on the topic tonight, I, I can't say um none. Everybody um entitled to their own opinion. Mm -hmm. And if they're in a marriage and they're happy, the only thing in which you could do you can't do you can't do nothing really. You can't you can't sit down there and knock somebody based on and so, what so do what so are you saying do what you want to do and, and stay married, that's what you're saying? It is what it is. If they they feel comfortable with it, nobody else is, is nobody else's business in order for them to um come in between, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, the the marriage because if they if if they um the married and they feel comfortable with it, you know see I don't see um no no way in order for nobody else to come inside of the relationship and try to knock nobody. It is what it is. If they're happy with it, so be it. But this, okay. <laughs> this thing that we're talking about right now, it, the women have been really doing this type of thing for a long time, dealing with the man going out and she stay home or she try to act like she don't see. So what we're really talking about is this is real special. If you can get a man that can let his woman go, uh, that's not really, I don't even know if this really happens a lot. Just get to hit the Okay. Because he can say it, but I don't know, can he take it? Okay, okay. Right. Call it, call it. This slide is jamming. Uh, thank you for call. We're going to go to another line, all right? All right, all right. All right. Hello, good night. You're live on here. Yes. Yes. Yes, Father Joe. Yes, sir. I changed union to Republican. Uh huh. You know, it's a spider. Yeah, there was other guy. It's taking every aspect. You hear me? You see, the first thing we should have done at the beginning of the show is define the word happiness. Because to each person, each person is going to give you, if you ask for the person, you're going to get for a different definition. Uh huh. You know what I mean? They talk about a, a lot of couples that you guys interpret as being happy. They're miserable at home. Mm -hmm. But when they come out in, in the public, due to society, they pretend that everything is fine until they get home. You know, you know, you know let, 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 let me just say this. You see, as life goes on, people tend to change the meaning of words. That's, you know, that's and, what's and going it, on here it, It's similar with the Bible because people change up the Bible for their lifestyle. That's and I keep true. telling people that. So so these words, that's what I'm trying to figure out what these words mean. Happily, what does it mean? What does happily married mean? You, you understand that? I'm, I'm, trying to figure, I'm trying to figure it out myself. And that's what I'm saying. You, you, you guys have to, that, you cannot say happily married because you, you look at a couple and they're laughing and smiling. <laughs> and when they get to the car, they curse like hell. And, and it's like a cat fight. Yeah, but, and, but and what what what? Makes but, okay, it's, it's okay to curse, but is it okay to go out there and still be happily married? Go where do you go out there? Go have an affair. Get each other bun. Yes, yes. That's that's not that's another conversation. <laughs> but the whole time to find out. America. If you're in America and you go to Africa, it's a different living. Oh, Africa, okay, okay. So Africa, you know, back home, Africa you know, comes to America. It's a norm to have multiple wives yeah. in Africa. <laughs> right. so and it, it, it's a norm to have more men cheating uh -oh. on you know, men. Mate, it's not cheating, cheating if everybody understands what's going on. Uh oh. <laughs> Spider. That's the new norm. <laughs> and, like, and it's been going on for years. So that was just. No, no, no. Women cheat. Let me tell you, women cheat more than men. I'm going to tell you that. The reason why it's out there more for men is because they go and brag to their friends, and most of their friends want to be with their woman. So they go behind the guys back and say, Yo, no time to tell me, tell the boss. He told me that he's doing this and he's doing that just so he can try to get a piece from your woman. But the woman will not tell anyone. Hmm. That's the difference. But the man is participating as well. <laughs> All right, Spider. You let the line jump, man. Okay, we're going to go. Right. Okay, uh, hold on. Uh, hello, good night. You're live on here. Hello. Hello. Yes, good evening, Joe. Good evening. How are you? Is that woman has been doing it more than men. Uh -oh. I disagree with that because I still have not got the opportunity to do it yet, Joe. Hmm. <laughs> but tonight, you got to announce to the people that what you're talking about, Joe, you got to answer the question now, Joe. No, no, no. I'm not a matter of it. I can't answer it because everybody's different. I, would, Joe, I, would, I cannot answer that question. Joe, I would like to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Do you think women cheat more than men? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know women. I don't know women. Do you think men cheat more than women? I really don't know. <laughs> I can't answer that question. Joe, I think you're in love. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and you just got busted on the ear again. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. and I'm asking you this question. Why would a happy woman want to cheat? I'm trying to find out, too. But you're not asking the question the right way. Now, what I think is, maybe... No, 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 I said couple, you know, I said couple. Okay, happy, happy married couple. couple. But so you, Joe, go, you go for both of them. Okay, but let me ask you a question, Joe. Mm. Don't you think maybe it's because there's something missing in the relationship? That's what I'm trying to find out. I really don't know. But you got to be specific I, what you want to hear, Joe. I, I, I was never in the position, so I'm asking you. I don't, I don't know, Avril. Pro- Hello, good night, Joe. You're live on here. Hello. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Yes, so in terms of this topic, I think it's clearly in sense of base. Mm-hmm. Why would you want to stay then, in you know what, you know what? marriage? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, okay, you could be happily married, but still, something in the marriage is missing. Hmm. I thought okay. happily married means the package is right there. That's what I thought. You know what I mean? Be married, but still, there is something missing. Even though you, you could still be happy, but something is missing. And that causes you to go out there and look for somebody else. Hmm. For instance, I'll give you an example. Okay. Right. The husband is a freak. The wife is a, a good freak. <laughs> <laughs> give me this to him. You're kind of breaking it up. Go ahead, go ahead. Freak. To be happy. <laughs> anyway, you're kind of breaking up. You're cracking me up, man. Anyway, uh, come back. I, I, okay, hello, good night. You're live on the air. Uh, yes, am I on? Yes, you're live on the air. Live. Okay, yes. I wanted to uh, comment um, on, on, on the topic and uh, mm. what the first uh, girl said, which is very important. Um, you could say, well, uh, you find these two people uh, saying that they're married and they're happy. Uh, that's based on them having an open relationship, but that's really, just like the first girl said, that's really not a marriage. That's not a marriage because if you look at it from the Bible, it tells you about adultery. It tells you about these things that, that's in the Bible that makes marriage sacred when you take that oath. So now if we look at it and say, well, this is what people are doing in these days, and they said that they're happily married, they're classifying marriage as what they want to see marriage as, but it's, it's not a marriage. It's not a marriage. It's just that simple. Okay. And I, I agree with that first girl. She, she, she made her point. And that's basically it. We could talk about it and say, well, these people are happy and they say that, that they are married and they're happy, but really and truly, they're not, they, they don't, they, they're not supporting the significance of that marriage. It, you can't cheat. You can't do none of that. So we could change it and upgrade it in our time, but I'm telling you, just based on my point of view, it's not a marriage. Okay. No matter what. They may be happy doing that, but then... The Bible tells you about adultery. It tells you about fornication. You have to consider everything like that. All right. You got, you got to consider, right, the, you. You got to consider oh. the divorce rate as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's another thing, too. I mean, the divorce rate is higher than ever been before. You know? Okay. Anyway, thank you for your call. I'll go to one more call. Before we come up to the top of the hour. we go to one more call. Uh, hello, good night. You're live on here. This is ER Radio with host Avril. This is Jordan Barber. In Hi. for Avril. Hi. Hi. I, have, I have a comment. Go ahead. Like, everybody's sitting there talking about the Bible and, you know, how they talk about adultery. But you also have to understand there was adultery in the Bible, technically. Because <laughs> you had Solomon. He had many wives, but he only loved Queen of Sheba. You had, mm. then you can go to other crazy all side stories, the story of Lot and the daughters and incest and all. There's a whole lot of stuff in the Bible, so I'm mm. not with that. Even in the Quran, Quran, you're allowed to marry more than one woman as long as you treat each of them equally. That's the problem. That's why most of the time, the Muslim man only married one wife. Oh, that's a very good point. But, if he, good but, point. If, he, but if he has the money, he'll have more wives and he'll treat all of them equally. Now, what constitutes as marriage? Is two people com- coming together, being as one, one unit, one family, whatever. People talking about cheating. Happy couples do not cheat. Period. Okay. But if, but if you're happy and you come to the t- agreement, be like, look, we're gonna get married, but this is what I am. I like other men. You like other women. Or I'm a woman who like other women, and you know all type of foolishness. You know, it's all about honesty. If you're honest with the person and the person know who they're getting into and they love you and they respect you or whatever, nope. and as you come in, you are, then there isn't a problem. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, thank you. We're going to go to the last call uh, before we go, um, get to the top of the hour. Uh, hello, good night. You're live on ER Radio. 
Hey, Joe, mis misinterpretation is a hell of a thing. Uh-huh. Make, make, uh, make it snappy. Make it one minute. Yes. Most of your callers are guilty with explanation. <laughs> <laughs> the argument is over. Guilty <laughs> with explanation. That's what they're doing. Bye. Okay, thanks. That's a maximum. All right. Well, you know what? You heard it here tonight. I am so grateful to be on the show. And me personally, I would love to have somebody who's just fine, who I can love, and that's it. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. it's like you're going to have to kind of live with this because it's been going on a long time. And, and, and relationships is what mm -hmm. you make it. So you know what? Make it the best. And thanks for having me today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, I don't think everyone was just telling me you're, you're on cable TV also. Absolutely. And you know, I was supposed to come here like when I first started. I didn't know what happened. Thank you, Avril. Oh, gosh. You know, I call, I call it Bronx Oprah. So you're Bronx Oprah. How many shows you have? Uh, I have a lot. Oh. Yeah. We have a lot of Oprahs I, in the Bronx. It's on your vision, people testimony in the word, talent search. We're in the Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan. Okay. Um, we got to get ready to get out of here, Dynamax. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. And I'm going to just go out with um, this song. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,